Torgal, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. them by Empress Annabella's command.
sorry, Lady Hannah. You deserved so much better. All of these people did. Better than my mother. Gav! Clive! Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them, when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Gav. We want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. When you're ready, then. To Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Don't mind me. Just taking a quick... This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I still don't know what to make of this... gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. <laughs> Spoken true. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me... 
that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial capital and pay a visit to Mother. of our farmholds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we would be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but bore them bluster. If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the Crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we have sworn to respect. Gentlemen. Did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think that... Uh, uh, well, yeah. I, 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 the gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Sandbreck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. It is time we expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. There will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legions? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Dalmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do.
Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Ortha. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. As you command. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? I have been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mine from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem. Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. As to where it's all going, mind, well... I can't know everything, can I? We are taught that the Mother Crystals are divine. Their ether, a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? Higher-ups? The gods themselves? So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. Sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? I suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. <laughs> for this if everything we were taught about the mother crystals was a lie then what else might we have been deceived about i'll give you two a moment to sort out your kit Mind me, just taking a quick drink. 
You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. If it's there, I'll find it. <sighs> Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it in tires bile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. Make it quick. So, will it be? No scratches, all right? Anything else? I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Take a seat, Clive. So you're really going through with it? Sid's been talking about bringing down a mother crystal since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, it's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. 
is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send the Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman? Right. <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Ah, oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Quick look. Think you can help? Where are you, Randall? Is everything all right? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. You know what it's like out there for a bare old his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army? I was. Then might I ask a favour of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Do you need any help, uh, Miss Molly? I don't know. Good to see you. Anything catch your eye?
Ah, oh, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> You're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. But how did the grocer know his not? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry. We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. If it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's Pass. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. Don't tell me. Turn it for some. Brother, did you? <gasps> Here. Bread and wine from the tavern. May we? Truly?
Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. Thank you. What happens to us now, brother? Master Quinton will never forgive me if I don't. I-I-I want no trouble. Wait, wait, that's... Oh, glory to Grieger. You were the hanged man. I took you for a rogue. If you're a friend of Master Quinton's, then perhaps you'll help me. His vineyard, Lost Wing's pride and joy, has been beset by a plague of giant wasps. And you need someone to solve your pest problem. I do indeed. I've never seen them so far from the forest, nor so mean for that matter. I suppose the smell's got them worked up. And little wonder, this'll be the finest crop we've ever known if the fiends don't eat it first. I tried chasing them off myself, but they won't flee from the likes of me. And if I don't bring those grapes in for pressing soon, Master Quinton will have my guts for garters. You look like you can handle that blade of yours. Will you put it to use for a comrade in need? Please, rid us of these wasps so I can be about my business. All right, I'll see to it. Oh, thank you. You'll find them over at Gotan's Bales on the edge of town. And hurry, Lostwing needs those grapes. Hanged man. Thank the gods. You're one of us. We were attacked. Beast men on the road. Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> reckless sod insisted on drawing them off. Where did this happen? Further down the road. In the clearing. Please. You have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. 
You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Goblins. Why am I not surprised? Sorry, Randall. Looks like I was too late. He doesn't deserve to rot by the roadside. I'll speak to Quentin. That'll be enough for today. But I added the gross, and now he's done. Ah, there you are. My man told me what happened. And? I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the South Gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. Though I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. 
Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Said his pack. That must be the vineyard. A few wasps shouldn't give me too much trouble. Good. Looks like I'm in the right area. More of the lost supplies. He could have fit much more in his pack. Still, no sign of Sid's letter, though. We've come this far. Might as well ask around. It's over! <laughs> Looks like that was the last of them. I'd better let Quentin's man know. A little overdressed to be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby. And I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. Shad's all salted and smoked. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. Someone's waiting for this. And he's waiting long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. A whole day on the line. <sighs> but what will we do for supper? Those 
those wasps won't be interfering with your harvest anymore. Oh, thank you. Master Quinton would have had my head if I'd lost the crop. I'd say you've earned a reward. Our Gotan Rouge fetches a handsome price among the rich and powerful of the realm. We use that money to keep our comrades fed and Imperial wolves from our door. The vineyards were Master Quinton's idea. He wanted to give bearers a place to work, a place where they'd be safe. Well, he certainly seems to have done that here. I'm glad I could help. I'll see that he hears of your kindness. And once this vintage is ripe for drinking, there'll be a glass or two raised in your honor. <laughs> face before. You're a friend of Martha's. Help us, I beg you. Help you with what? Bandits in the Golden Stables. They're waving their swords around. I think they're gonna kill someone. When I saw what was happening, I slipped out the back. I should have stayed, but oh, please help them. All right. I'll see to your problem. Thank you. How many were there? I was out of the door too fast to count. They looked a nasty bunch, though. Be careful in there, all right? Ha! <laughs> Golden stables, my ass. All Martha's hiding back here is coppers. Oh, that's a fine sword, friend. Heavy, though, I expect. What say we relieve you of it? Get him, lads. I want that blade. Get this over with. Four. I'll be keeping my blade, thank you. There he is! The hero of the Golden Stables! People will think twice about pushing us around again, thanks to you. We're lucky you were nearby. No good cowards wouldn't have dared set foot in the place if I'd been here, of course. But you weren't. I thought you told me you had someone watching the place. The Blood Axes keep an eye on the tavern, yeah. When they're not busy keeping the peace, that is. I've spread them as thin as they'll go. The Empire might be in charge, but that don't mean they care to keep us safe. If it weren't for the Blood Axes and me, merchants won't come near these lands for fear of what might happen to them. I see. Then you do Rosaria a great service. Just as you did today. You're a useful man to have around. Here. And there'll be a mug of something tasty waiting for you whenever you next stop by. Right, we've got work to do for her to make this place presentable. You best be going before I arm you with a mop. Barking at his lot earlier. Wanted 
to send a message. Maybe I should just... Well, there you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. <sighs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me, then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. He never mentioned a daughter. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven boats. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here. For your troubles. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. He'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this.